In Xinjiang, there is 24,000 mosques in that one single province in China. If you compare that to the entire country of the United States of America, it is 10 times more. Now you're probably going to say, oh, well, America is not an Islamic country. Guess what? Neither is China. Let me tell you something about the Uyghurs and all the other different minorities in China. There's 55 different minorities. The population of these minorities is growing at a faster rate than the majority Han Chinese. And that's because these, all of the minorities were not subject to the one child policy. They even have minorities scripture on the money, on the actual Chinese national currency. Wait, I'm going to show you here. Look, hold on. I don't know if you can see it there, right? But look at all those different like writing on there. I don't even know what it is. Arabic, you got Pinyin, Chinese, all different types. Then we've got another one here. They've even got a minority's face on the money here. That's the uh, Miao minority. I mean, if you want to talk about the treatment of minorities, I mean, America, they've got some cheek to talk. I mean, if you look at America today, how are America's minorities doing? For centuries, even up to today, Americans of African descent, they still have to suffer from racial discrimination, prejudice, injustice. Also, ever since the uh, Rona outbreak, there's been a surge in violent attacks against uh, people of Asian descent. Oh, and let's, how about the old Native Americans of America? How are they doing today? The indigenous people of America. Oh yeah, that's right. They were displaced, killed off, put into slavery and war. Their culture was literally oppressed so much that it was almost completely wiped out. Huh, what does that sound like? Oh, that's right. It sounds like genocide. Why is no one, why is no one sanctioning uh, America over this? Oh, right, oh, that's right, because it was done by the European colonies. Oh, okay. Okay, we'll let that one slide. It was done by Europe. I thought America was the land of the free. Well, maybe it's not so free if you belong to a certain group of people, if you know what I mean. Whoa, look at this building. And then you get these companies like H&M, Nike, Adidas, Converse, right? And they see these Western media stories and they believe it. They jump on the bandwagon. Well, guess what? By these stores saying, oh, we're not, we're not using Xinjiang cotton anymore. They are literally putting Uyghurs and people in Xinjiang out of work. They are forcing people in Xinjiang to go outside of the province to find work because they're closing their factories and they're not using their cotton anymore. So it's ironic, really. It's insane, these huge clothing companies like H&M, Adidas, Nike, they believe these stories without doing one single bit of research into it themselves and find that it's completely fabricated.